Welcome to Hoops IQ. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how Jalen Brunson and the New York Knicks are completely changing the NBA and how Brunson's sneaky moves and these little tricks are destroying the top defenders in the league. I'm going to show you with real in-game footage exactly his footwork and how he's completely tricking the top defenders in the league. I'm your host, Coach Novak. Let's break it down. So how did Jalen Brunson all of a sudden become an absolute superstar? At only 6'2", you have multiple defenders being sent at him. NBA coaches are baffled by what's happening. They're sending double teams, they're using smaller, quicker defenders, longer defenders to try and figure out how to stop this guy, but he's able to do it at all three levels. No matter the defense, he's still able to find a way to sneak his way through and find a bucket. And how have the New York Knicks completely changed their offense to work around Jalen Brunson? Well, I've no noticed a few things. First of all, if you want to play like Jalen Brunson, you're going to need a coach like Tom Thibodeau. He's completely given Brunson the keys to the New York Knicks. Now, you have to have not only a great coach who understands that you have the capability to do this, but you have to be given the free reign, which means they've built a team around him that will let him do his job, that will let him go 100% and take as many shots as he needs. They are designed to be in perfect role players. That's why they dominate the offensive boards. That's why you have guys like Josh Hart that are flying in getting rebounds because they're in perfect sync with what Jalen Brunson is doing. Jalen Brunson knows that he can get into the lane, attack, do multiple pivots, and be patient being able to kick out or get his own shot. The other role players understand that when he gets to certain spots, they have a job to do. And a lot of times that is cut or rebound. And they understand that they're just there to play a specific role and they have completely bought into it. This gives Brunson the full clarity, the full confidence that he can go out and just play his game. Most coaches at all levels aren't going to give this much free reign to a guy. They built a team around him of great shooters, perfect role players, great rebounders, and guys that'll defend. And so when he comes down the court, he understands that these guys are in perfect position to help him out, and he has 100% confidence to go ahead and play his style game. When I'm trying to find exactly what it is that makes him different, and I'm studying the film, it comes down to one key. Now, a lot of guys are able to be extremely shifty, which he is. He can shoot extremely well. He gets to his spot and makes his shots. Great footwork, all of that stuff, and great finishing. But when we used to watch Allen Iverson or even a Kyrie Irving, when they blow by a defender, they are trying to get to the rim, and you'll see Kyrie with amazing finishes. A lot of those amazing finishes have to do with him just leaving his feet and getting to a spot where he can then adjust, make incredible athletic moves. Jalen Brunson kind of does the opposite. He has that in his game, and you'll see that come out. But the reason why he's so effective is the unpredictability of what he's about to do. And it comes down to the timing. So when we look at some of his drives, when he gets by his defender, you have no idea at what point he's about to shoot. Here's an example of the unpredictability of what he's about to do. When most guys have certain rhythms and certain things they like to get to, his unpredictable style makes him so difficult to guard. So of course he's shifty. He gets down and hits a little in and out and then gets bumped off his spot by the defender. But he is not phased by that. He's actually expecting that. So when he gets into that in and out, he then goes to his spin back. He curls back towards the middle of the court. You'll see that when he gets inside here, does a great job spreading his legs out, spreading his feet out. That helps keep distance between your defender and the ball. He does a great job of doing that. Then he bounces it strong inside, using his body to bump. Gives his defender a little contact. This is where you would expect the shot to be. He bumped, he's getting the two feet, you would expect the shot to go up. Instead of that, he hits two feet and pivots a step through. 
okay? So he pivots a step through. Now the step through, a lot of times guys will go to a step through and immediately into a shot, but he understands how to go step through, bump, and get into a shot, which draws the foul. So look, step through, uses the contact of the bump to go up into a shot. He does it over and over again to get these fouls drawn. In this case, he uses multiple pivots and his strong frame pivot back. He's got two guys on him. They're all jumping around. He bumps off his defender and then he's able to step through. This is physicality. This is size and strength. A lot of smaller guards will get in here and begin to pivot and they'll be the one getting bounced around. But you can see when he gets inside, he's able to use his size and strength to push them off. He's able to push guys completely off of him. Look off of this pivot as they both reach in on him. He's going to bump this defender. Boom. Hits that little defender and then you have the space to then step through and complete the finish. One of his favorite moves is to get inside and make the contact. He wants to draw the contact. Look, as soon as he gets a little bit of space, he got that crossover, now you have the space here. Let's look what happens next. Off of the space, most guys are gonna do a straight line kind of drive right here towards the basket. But he's gonna push all the way in, and his job here, his focus, is to get his left foot in between this defender's feet. So let's see how he does it right here. He gets that foot right there, so important, in front of his defender so that his defender can't take a straight line for the block. So off of that step, it throws off his defender's timing. Then he's able to get into this little skip into the floater. So it's off the left to right going into a, the floater. And you can see his defender back here is struggling to even get his balance. He's off balance here because of that foot stepping inside. He's now struggling over the top and trying to get up to the block, but he's way too late. And boom, he's well into the air before they're able to block. And that's how he's able to get these sneaky finishes. When we look at timing, here's another one where timing is so important. He gives a little jab step gets to a spot here at the elbow. Now what most guys will do, they'll put their guy in jail, right? Then they'll take one step off and get the shot up. What he's gonna do is put his guy in jail right here and shoot at the same time. So as he's going in to get that contact, he's then going up with it as well. So he's shooting off the contact. Look at him get in here, got his defender on his hip. Of course he's shifty enough to make moves to get to this point. Once he gets to this point, his job here, his thought process is get a slightly in front of him or into him while I take my shot. If I can get contact, I'm going up with it. So here it is, he's slowing down to get the contact as his defender chases. Here comes the contact. Look at this footwork. Here it is, the left foot almost on top of the defender's foot. When you can use this type of footwork, completely changes your drives. Gets the foot right there, and as he's inside off of that left foot, he's also going up into the shot. This throws off defender's timing, so he's trying to go from a dead sprint to getting out of the way. This is what causes the fouls. The timing, the awareness of getting contact and going up with it, extremely important. This is it, this is the key. One of his favorite moves is the in and out pickup. So it's an in and out low pickup. He'll go in and out with his left hand. He goes low pickup and then goes hard through. With his strength, he's able to blast through defenders over and over. So he's going to go in and out. Look, he pushes his man inside. Boom. Then he gets into the low pickup. In and out. Boom. Low pickup. Arms go straight to the floor and he starts to rip through with two hands. His defender stays in front. Most guys jump way out of the way and he's able to rip through that. This guy stays in front. He takes the contact, takes the contact, still gets into his one, two and one foot floater. The balance right here and the strength, unbelievable. Here you'll see the same move, in and out, low pickup, rip through, and he's able to still finish. See how he gets that low rip through right here? Low rip through, gets his arms long. He got his defender shifted just a little bit. And now when the defender reaches his hand outside, he's gonna get in the way. That's where he draws the contact. 
right? Long rip through, the arm slaps down, and he's able to get up through it with another step and a finish. Watch on this one how he gets his defender shifted with a jab step, low jab, moves the ball nicely, boom, gets his defender shifted, waits for that space. Once he has this space, he wants to close the space back up. Boom, he wants to come back into him, use that shoulder, he takes that hit strong, uses the power and the weight that he has and the strength, and then he's able to go up through his defender and finish. Always looking for the contact and going up through it. He has the elite footwork to step inside, go up straight through the contact, and that's what changes the game for him. In and out, low pickup, very shifty, gets that arm naturally in the way. So when you get shifted like that and your man comes out, the arm naturally comes out in his way. He knows that, he rips up through it, and that goes into his floater. Very smart, high IQ play. It's really all about three words. It's contact, timing, and balance. He understands how to use these three. He uses the contact extremely well. He stays on balance with the contact, and he throws people off with different timing. He spins back, this would expect to be a shot. He's got a guy up in him, so he gives more of a bump, takes more contact. He gets into these shots at all different times, just throwing guys completely off balance. You can feel like he's gonna shoot right here off the spin. It feels like he's gonna go right up into the shot, but he kind of bounces, bounces into a different shot. Look, bink, bink. You see how he uses the pivot, the timing, the footwork to get up into the shot at different rhythms. This completely throws defenders off and this is why he's so effective. If you want more videos like this and breakdowns, make sure you like and subscribe. This has been Hoops IQ. I'm your host, Coach Novak. I'll see you in the next video.